We're here in Central Florida, known for the most expensive thrifts in the entire world. We are going to limit ourselves to a $1,000 budget and see what we can find at thrift stores around Central Florida. Now, we could just pop in here and just spend the $1,000 and see what we get. We're limiting ourselves to profitable shoes, as you know. So let's let's scour the Orlando area and see if we can find some profitable shoes. I don't know. off with Retail Recock. What's up? I haven't worn this thing on my chest in a hot minute. Man has no faith. Grab the basket. Come on now. I really don't have much luck here first thing in the morning. Um, so not thrilled that this is our first stop of the day, but it's right across the street from me. So it might also be the last stop of the day. Um, I'm not seeing that they put anything new out. I don't think these are bean boots. Yeah, kombu. Uh, have some LeBrons for 25. Kind of worn on the bottom. Clarks? Wallabies for 13. That's a maybe. I don't know how these do lately, so I have to look those up. Got some quarter snacks. Those have been here for a while. They're kind of expensive. Blazers, 11, just kind of dirty. Oh, hey. Hey, oh. She brought out uh, some women's shoes. I kind of dug through it, but I didn't really find anything. If you want to double check, but she's putting it out now. These brooks are pretty nice, but tear in the back and no insoles. Some high top cold bonds. They're 25 bucks. No idea what these are. Some weird Air Max 95 high tops. Is this a 95? I don't know. But they are in terrible condition and they are $20. Under Armour hovers for $25. To be fair, this is one of the more expensive Goodwills. These are $20. Don't know the exact name of these. I've looked them up. They're not really worth grabbing at $20. Some Jordan 7s, I think. I'm gonna sound bad. It's gonna be terrible if I don't know the exact model. I think it's seven. Ten bucks, but they are not in great condition. Yellow and midsoles, just dirty. If they were in better condition, maybe. I think I'm just gonna look up those uh, Clark's Wallabies and see what those are going for. These LeBrons are 25, and 25, not worth grabbing at that price and in that, in that size. Got some six rings, some toddler Air Force Ones for 10, some more toddler Air Force Ones for 10. Just uh, not enough profit on those. So yeah, I'm gonna look up those uh, Clark's and see what Chris has got. You want some uh, Clark's Wallabies for 13? I don't know, I've never sold those. <laughs> Not terrible condition. I'm passing on those. Even half off? Yep. All right, All right what we got? Area? Up to you. I've never sold that model before. It's like a... I think it'll be fine. Yeah. $11 area boots. These are missing insoles, but they're 13. It's off seven. So it's up to you. Uh, uh, crazy about it. Yeah, since they're missing insoles, I'll probably pass. Maybe they're a little cheaper. They're 20. There's like 10 less than two sole, one for 60, brand new for 90. It, it's a little bit I'm not crazy about those. You don't, you're not crazy about these? Because I, I looked them up too and I wasn't right. too crazy about them. And these are half off. 10. Perfect. Yep. Dance goes. Beautiful. All right. Three pairs. <laughs> Three pair first stop. All right, first stop in. Three pairs for 36.19. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but let's get the let's get the day going. Get get to rolling. Retail Recon still says that he's not sure if he's in the mood to vlog today. Any updates on that? We're getting there. We're getting there. Warming it's, up. It's still early. It's it's a crisp 11:30 a.m. Uh, we still gotta wake up. That's early for some. <laughs> All right, we're at stop number two. I think it's a good time to make a prediction. How many pairs do you think we're gonna get with our thousand dollars? Ooh. 75. 75 pairs? 75 is my guess. I was going to say 80. Okay. Yeah. 80 pairs. Price is right. Here. Price is right. Here we go. Number two. Who the Thank you, sir. Some baby J's. They're not anything cool, though. They're not. They're not. Got some shorelines for 25. Laceless bands. 20. 20 dollars. Gore-Tex? I have no idea what that brand is. 
cakes. It's a terrible size. Men's size five and a half. I mean, I guess I might as well look it up. See what it is. H A I X. Some Timberlands. Sixty dollars. Got some shocks. You want to drop off? They're Twenty-five. However, it's, it's 20, a good model. Twenty-two listed. Sixty-six sold. And the new pair sold for four hundred dollars. The counts are high. Wow. Nice. Some reacts. For fifteen. Lots of wear on the bottom. CX fluxes are cool. 15, but still a lot of wear. No laces, no insoles. Still 15 bucks. And then these for 15. This model doesn't really do very well. Some narrow Moabs. Terrible foot joys. Another pair, no laces, no insoles. 17. They are tripping. 25 for these free runs. No kid shoes? No. Okay. Um, these are only 750. They're in good condition. I feel like they do get on posh. Are they? Maybe, maybe not. Is that not part of the design? Because look, we got this over here. Oh yeah, I think you're right. These are tangent, right? Yeah. H A. Have you ever heard of the brand H A I X? Nope. You know these are men's seven and a half, right? How much are they? Fifteen. I saw them yesterday. Alright, here we can pass on. Reason. Did you see the ones next to them? If they still have them? Like 40. Same, same model. model. <laughs> Alright, so the HAIX boots, we got 378 pre owned listed and 149 sold. I guess it's not terrible. We'll probably pass because of the size, but I guess it's not a bad brand. Show me the comps. Well, These are new, sure, right. but 250, used, 250, 250, yeah. 200. Yeah, this 100. is the really good model of shocks. Give it the good bin test. Yeah. So definitely worth paying 25 for these. Yeah. She's a survivor. She's a survivor. All right, two pairs at stop number two. Five, yeah, but I mean. Five pairs in. Fight of the day. And I got first pick today. All right, two pairs, stop number two. This truck is any louder. Um, we paid $34.60 for two pairs of shoes. Definitely the find of the day so far. Chris right there. Uh, Snaggy Shocks. It's a good model of these to keep out for. Just always give it a good bend test and uh, make sure that the sole's all in good condition. But yeah, it should be a couple hundred dollars. Easy peasy. Alrighty, stop number three. Are we gonna get more than three pairs here? Five. Five. All right. Fifty dollars for vans. That's actually ridiculous. Ten dollars soft sevens. Kind of rough condition. Yeah. I've sold this brand many times. I don't know that it's worth fifteen. I'll have to double check. But uh, UIM, it's a good one. This is a pretty good model of Skechers, but way too much wear on the bottom. What about those Adidas top 10s? How much are those? Too expensive? 50? 55 dollars. Jeez. Oh! Todd's, okay. For 40. It's probably not worth it. Last pair of Todd's that I sold were not great. So the bronze are kind of beat. Mm. I sold that pair for 33. Probably not worth it for 15. Are we striking out at this, at this stop? Well, so much for the five pairs. That was a goose egg. Yeah. That was a goose egg. Okay. Look at me. Just pull them out. You're it, so ready. It's really not looking good on the day. It's really, we're off to a terrible start. Five pairs after three stores. Uh, shout out Orlando. That one had $55 Adidas. Like, what the heck? These are supposed to be thrift stores. Anyway, I digress. Next place. All right, stop number four. I'm feeling pretty demotivated after the last stop. We need a little turnaround. I just told Chris that I think that this is going to be our uh, best stop of the day, quantity-wise. Uh, just using some context clues and, uh, you know, um, just sourcing here before. It's going to be a good one. I just, I have a feeling deep inside of me. It'll be great. It'll be nice. We need it. On clouds. 
14? Can't tell if that's a hole right there or not. Someone definitely wore through it. I wanna think about it. Some cherry bands, 15. I'll pass on that. Some Air Force Ones, 10. Youth 4. Oh, kind of rough condition. Nice. Eight bucks. Need a wash, but not terrible. Not terrible. Nice 2016s. Four and a half Y. And maybe I think about it. Got some Pegasus 38s. For 17. I think it's a little steep. See some Kyrie's for 15. Probably not. It's another youth size. I've sold these several times, but this condition is just not it. Well, Chris has got something. Sorry. Okay. Isn't nice. What's up? I want to check. Go. These two. Like, look them up. Oh, we got you. Okay. It's not bad. I mean, 16 is not bad. Ultra Boost 22, baby. 10 bucks? Not bad. I like how they have the size. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I see some Topo Athletic. Give me a good price. 12 bucks. 12 bucks. That's good. That's a good brand to keep an eye out for. Topo Athletic. These are in good condition, too. Some fresh phones. No. More face for 12. Not bad. Oh, there's some more Tobos down here. Nice. 12 bucks, same price. Sweet. I feel like these kids do decent, but probably not for 13 bucks. I see some Ultras. One peak, $12. Yeah, these are nice. Another good brand, Ultra. Some Cole Hans for 13. Men's eight and a half. Eh. I think about it. More Nikes. Oh, Chris is just popping off over here. What are those? Under Armour? I want to check these out. Yeah, all crazy. Nice. I feel like these sock and these aren't bad. Worth looking up. Good brand. Um, also, Saucony Jazz. You guys already know this one. Good one. What even are these? They're vans with the bottom is just flat. Somebody in the comments let me know what the heck kind of vans these are. It's Roshi Golf for 12. I feel like that's not bad. I mean, spikes are kind of worn down. So we have here Kohan for 15. That's bad. I saw those hit right? Which ones? For 15. Yeah, and there's another pair over there. I just I'm not I'm not a fan of paying yeah, that. These are half off, 10. Nice. We got a full cart. We do. Yeah. There's still a kit shoes over there. Yeah. You wanna start looking some stuff up while I go look at kit shoes? <laughs> some Weir's Waldo. Weir? 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 Where's Waldo vans? 15 or five bucks, but they look like they're very faded and stained. Some Youth Kings for four bucks. That's gotta be worth it, especially this time of year. Middle of summer, oh yeah. Got a Rock Band set for the Xbox 360 for $120. Shout out Central Florida for that for that pricing there. Gotta, gotta love it. And this thing has nothing to do with the Rock Band set. And this one's 100 bucks. Like, come on, come on, come on. These canes are only four bucks, so I figured that's a good one. You gotta look up the PF Flyers. I've never heard of it. You've never heard of PF Flyers? Guaranteed to make kids run faster and jump higher. Bro, you ever seen the Sandlot? No, I guess I haven't. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon, shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF Flyers.
Oh, come on. Yeah, that's a boa. Um, right. If you find these in... Uh, so the so the ones from the Sandlot are all black, and this will be green. If you find those, you have a hundred dollar shoe. Really? But those all like thirty bucks, thirty forty. Yeah, thirty forty bucks. Um, I, you could probably get more out of these. What's this brand? Ultra. Come on, bro. I told you this was gonna be the number one stop. Oh, I still think we're gonna do better. We're gonna do better than this somewhere. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alrighty, alrighty, Rue. Got a two bagger. Two bagger. Uh, what we got? Fourteen pairs. Uh, yes. 14 pair, 15, one, two, okay. 14 pairs. Paid $191.56. Only spent 260 so far. That's a, that's a quarter of our budget. We're getting there. On to the next. On to the next. All right, so we pulled into our next stop, which is actually a, uh, a Plato's Closet. Technically still a thrift store. Um, as I'm sure you know, just a little bit more expensive, but they have better stuff. So fingers crossed. If you're, if this is your first time catching a video like this, basically the way that we, uh, since we're, you know, both separate resellers, at the end of the day, we're gonna draft everything one by one and then we just split the cost down the middle. So that's how that works. So stick around for that. Looks like a pair of Crocs, avocados all over them. They're only $7. That's a really good price from Plato's Closet and they were non-slip. So that was a good pickup. These Air Max 2016s are a Nike ID. So they're like customized. They're like a one of one, but they're only 25 bucks. I feel like this colorway should sell them around a hundred bucks. And then these Nike Joyrides were in excellent, like, like new condition. And Plato's only priced them at twenty dollars, so that's definitely pickup. Do you want to? Look at the koala. All right, let's go. All right, so Chris popped into Style Encore. I don't know if you can see it over there. Uh, while I was checking out. And it usually doesn't, it's kind of like a Plato's Closet, except it's only women's. So we'll, we'll see how he does. Uh, he did have five, not five, but three $5 coupons that we could use at Plato's Closet. We didn't think they'd be stackable, but they were stackable. So we ended up with $15 off that purchase and uh, ended up spending $75.62 on uh, what we got here. One, two, three, four, five on five pairs of shoes. So really good buy cost for Plato's Closet. We got these Air Max 2016s in men's size for 25. These uh, Avocado Crocs, these Joyride Nikes in excellent condition. And uh, these Under Armour Hovers, as well as these Koala Converse. So uh, I'll probably go pop into Style Encore and finish up with Chris in there. But I've got some bad news first. Um, as I was walking out of Plato's closet, I just like accidentally launched my GoPro across the car parking lot and the clip that clips onto my, uh, my chest, I broke it. <laughs> so uh, no more chest footage today. So we're gonna go GoPro in the hand. So uh, that's, that's fun. Um, luckily I have plenty of replacements of these, but hmm, a little annoyed. Uh, but that's all right. That past couple stops have kind of turned the day around. So let's pop into Style Encore and see how Chris is doing. Got one pair of shoes? Some more shocks. Guess nice. Price. These are nice. Guess the price. 15. 15? Generous. 24. They right. look great. Oh, so store. Um, and then I was on the fence about these ones. Cole Hans? Pretty much new, but they are 29. Hold on. When did the store sell start selling men's? Very recently. Huh. Within the last couple months. Nice. How much are they? 29. Kind of. <sighs> Little, little on the price side, for sure. I'd, I'd probably on the fence. I'd probably pass again. <sighs> Gotta make a quick post office uh, stop, but uh, while I do that, I need to uh, thank today's video sponsor, me. Are you still taking pictures of your shoes all flattened and just not looking how they're meant to look on someone's foot? Don't you wish you could just take your shoes presentation from something like this to something like this, what the shoe is meant to look like on someone's foot. That's where dealing with Dalton shoe trees come in handy. They're made of high quality materials. They're shaped like someone's foot. So when you are taking pictures of shoes, they're going to appear just as they would when the buyer wears them. I also carry two sizes. We've got the large and the small. So it's gonna cover basically all sizes. So you'll have something for your larger men's sizing as well as even these youth size one Jordans. The small shoe tree fits right in there. So if you wanna level up your shoe photography, go to dealingwithdalton.com or hit the link in the description and pick up some shoe trees today. But anyway, let's get back into today's video. All right, made it to the next Plato's Plaza. This one's kind of small, so uh, fingers crossed. Not hoping for much. Got a voiceover because Shakira was screaming in the store, but these Cortez were only 25 bucks and we got some $200 comps. Cortez usually sell for really good money, so definitely keep an eye out for them. 
All right, again, as I said, only one pair, and the total was $26.75. Not too bad, not too bad. We got a Goodwill up next. Chris claims that the prices here are um, similar to 2019 Goodwill pricing, so uh, we'll see if he knows what he's talking about. I'm looking through the windows, I can see that they redecorated since last time I was here, so I don't even know where shoes are. I love these, sir. Wow, what a guy. All right, let's see, 2019 pricing? 13 bucks. It's not bad, they got a nice color on. Oh, man. I don't know, we'll think about it. Spencos are a little dirty, they're only four bucks. But, probably passing. How are we supposed to look at the shoes over there? I got some Under Armour for 12, nice. All right, bands for 15. Croc boots, baby. 13 bucks, nice. Now what do I do if I see a pair of shoes over there that I want? All right, I'm about to just go for it. I'm going for it. Alan Edmonds? There you go. Alan Edmonds. Let's go. Nice. Birkenstock Evas. Birkenstock Evas. Birkenstock Evas. Birkenstock Evas. Birkenstock Evas. Birkenstock Evas. I don't know about this colorway though. 15 is usually a little pricey for these. Maybe the color will save it. Air Max 1s. These are nice. How much? $23. Might be worth looking at. Oh my gosh, let's go. These are only $4. Let's freaking go. Small baby Harajis. Oh my gosh, concave Harajis. Nice. Bro, bro, check it out. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that them. price. Let's That's go. That's awesome. Nice. How much? 10. Oh, oh beautiful. 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 Our day's turning around, baby. I'm not picking up Allegri's unless they're dirt cheap and in excellent condition. I'm not super crazy about these because I think they're big. Yeah, these are women's 11, I'm assuming, no? Yeah, no. And these might also be women's 11. No, these are women's 10, but they're a better color. 13? Sure. Sure. All right, so we put back the Air Max 1s. Uh, Chris is making me get these Birkenstocks for 15. We found them. <laughs> uh, we got a nice little, nice little stack. I don't know if you guys could see those Ufos. These were a good find. These are only 10 bucks. All right, we got, we got a couple bags of shoes, 11 total pairs. Uh, definitely the best pair was those Baby J's, if I'm being honest with you. We spent $123. Um, are you ready for lunch? So ready for lunch. I'm so ready for lunch. Uh, we're getting there. What's that, 36 pairs on the day? 36 pairs 36 on the day. 36 pairs on the day, and I'll put the, the total we have left to spend on the screen. We're getting there, though. Minor pit stop to uh, take fellowship with the Christian chicken. Chick-fil-A. This man got fries with no sauce. <laughs> Who doesn't like Chick-fil-A sauce? Winners. All right, we are back at it. Back at it. Chris, you have more experience with this store. What do you think we're hitting here? Six. Six pairs. Six pairs. Six pairs is the goal. Let's do it. Hello. That's pretty cool. Twenty dollars. Oh jeez. Look how dirty these are. Twenty bucks. It's wild. Thrift stores really see that Jordan logo and they just think they have uh, struck gold. So these dogs for thirteen. Uh, maybe. Some more Jordans. Twenty dollars. Just have to look them up. Yes, oh wow! Look at you. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Nice. Yeah. Top Dumb Monarchs. Let's go. They're only fifteen. Yeah. Wow. What size are they? It's not bad. These are twenty five. Why nothing more? Yeah. The uh, Lunar Force ones. Nice. I've sold a pair in black, but it's been like two years. But I sold it for like hundred bucks. Another pair of Air Max twenty seventeens. Got some rough wear on the bottom. These keens are pretty nice. Only 10 bucks. Can't beat that. 
Because Timberlands are only 10 and a half off. Shouldn't be too bad. And I'm sorry, but just, just uh, do you want to look at both of them? Can we see what those two boots are? Yeah. These two? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, fam bam. Only picked up four pairs there and spent 95 bucks. Um, a lot of the stuff that you saw on the cart was either damaged or just not worth picking up at the price. But we did find a couple pairs behind the counter. These Black History Month, are these 97s? Air Max 97s were only 35 bucks. And then we got another pair of shocks. It's a shocks kind of day. Do you know what these are called off the top of your head? BB4s. BB4s. They are men size R4s. eight. R4s. 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 Um, they are men size eight, not the greatest size, but they are only, they were 30 bucks. So we're getting there. This is the most expensive stop per pair wise, but got some good stuff. I'm so used to not, I'm so used to driving that I keep pulling my keys out at the end of every stop expecting to drive. And then yeah, I, had, I got stuck with driving today for some reason. All right, next stop. We made it, we made it. Chris is just like dumping trash in Goodwill for some reason. Um, so we are sitting like right around $600 spent. So we have a little under $400 left and we've only picked up 40 pairs. <laughs> so these next one, these next 40, cause we're getting 40 more. If I put these on the shelf at Goodwill, what do you think they price at that? Uh, the if, you, if you put these on the shelf at Goodwill, I guarantee they price it at least $9.99. Um, but we need some cheap stuff. We're gonna hit 80. Bro, Goodwill thought they were onto something. We got these off-white Nikes. <laughs> off-white. What do you think they priced them at? Fifty. <laughs> they priced them at forty bucks. <laughs> New Innovate Scortex. Wow. Yeah, men's seven. I'd still. How much are they? Thirteen. I'd still grab them. New and the Gore-Texy. Texy Wexy. Look at these knockoff Cortezes. What's going on here? Who's your new plug? These 720s are the thrift store special. I see this model all the time. Eight bucks isn't bad though, as long as the bubble's intact. They're in amazing condition, but like, Air Max is for eight bucks. Can't really beat that. Six and a half Y, It'd be a women's eight. A little bit of paint rub, but you know, can't beat that. <laughs> Check the bottoms of these, I don't know if they're like pushed out. They are a little bit. Yeah. Def pass on those. Uh, come on, bro. Get it together. Oh, that's squash. Right. Right there. We got some uh, slip on vans. Suede up. Are they men's? Yeah. yeah. Men's vans for 13. That's pretty good. These are an interesting one. What well, about This heel is weird. What? It's got a heel. It's a block heel. Yeah, but for a men's shoe, that's weird. Look it up. It's mute. Mute. Handmade. Zella shoes? Zella? No, this man's coming with all the it's all the interesting brands. Off brands. Oh, it says Ortholite. I mean, yeah. interesting. Ten Ultra bucks. baby, ten dollar Nice. I'll look these up real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I can't remember where I put them. Mute. Whatever it is, is a no go. Nope. Um, and no. And Zella is also a no go. Um, I didn't show you. I found these seven twenties in the kids section. They're not in amazing condition, but they're only eight bucks. Um, these I'm not crazy about. They're ten dollars. They're five Y. What are they? Hirachis. Hirachis. Let's hit that quota. What's up? Let's hit that quota. Hit the quota. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, and then these are dancers. Dang. All right, so we ended up picking up nine, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, we got nine pairs of shoes. Paid ninety-seven seventy-one. Had another uh, five dollar reward to use on that bad boy. So. Doing pretty good, Doing pretty good. Added nine to the total. That puts us at like, uh, I think 49. we, we've spent 700, we got 300 bucks left. Nice. We're running out of money. I don't even think we're gonna hit your 75 pairs. That's the spirit. We're doing pretty good though. Um, are you gonna make me stop at this crappy yeah. thrift store? Yep, we're going in. <sighs> this place is garbage, bro. Are we walking or driving? Let's drive. Drive, okay. okay. All right, super teen, sorry, teen challenge, super thrift. Super thrift is a bit of an exaggeration. This is a pooper thrift. 
It's super. It's super, super crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm feeling good though. We're gonna find some. We're gonna find some Are good you? stuff. We're gonna find. Yeah, this is gonna be the stop of the day. Ooh, look at that. Nice and clean. <laughs> new boxes. Nice. Four ninety nine. Okay, I take back what I said. Good prices. One in size seven and a half. Nice. Five bucks. That's crazy. Some boa foot joys for ten bucks. I mean, that's gotta be a good, gotta be. That's some LeBron's, probably a youth size. Terrible heel drag, only $4.99 though. Uh, probably still gonna pass, but you know, good price. Actually a thrift store price for once. All right, we got some Vault Vans. Vans Vault, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the insole. These are only nine bucks, it's a pretty good find. Maybe six. No, it's nine. Not too bad. Got some Allbirds. This brand is kind of crap lately, but you know, six ninety nine is a good price for them. Smarrels, 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 Smarrels. Ten bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, I'm eating my words. This turned out to be, you know, a decent stop, depending on what Chris has got, because I've only gone through like half of this stuff. These are nice. You know, the shout spray would clean this up easy peasy. These might be worth looking up. Might be. I'm gonna ask Chris. I saw Chris over here. Oh, $8.99, wow. No insoles. Well, one insole. I might ask Chris if he... I might look these up. I think the shout spray will get those clean. I apologize. Um, what all have you gone through? Oh, these don't much. have insoles. Everything at this point. Everything? Oh, this whole row? Perfect. These will clean up in the washing machine. Yeah, those are decent. Eight bucks. Nice. Um, that's all you got? Yeah. Okay, can you look these up for me? You ready? Holy crap, they're dirty. Yeah, I know. They, they gotta yeah, be ready. They gotta be good. AA8030-301. Give me good comps, give me good comps, come on. 130, only one listed. Two sold? Oh! 119, Ooh, 85, it. yeah. Um, it's missing one insole. Oh. I know. Uh, I think the shout spray OxyClean will clean these up pretty good. Okay. I think they're worth grabbing. They're only $8.99, I think. Tread's good? Tread's really good. Tread's really good. Um, these barrels don't have insoles. Yeah, I, I, I pass on them for that reason. I just don't think they sell as well. But I mean, if you... No, I don't I think... I pick them up. I don't think so they long. sell that well. Um, all birds for $6.99. Could those go in the wash? Not that they need to, but like, could they? Yeah, you can wash yeah. these. And they have insoles, everyone's good. Um, foot joys with the boa lacing, good. Women's? Spikes, I think they're women's, yeah. Eight, women's eight. Can you double check and make sure that the lacing thing works? Beautiful, beautiful. Sure does. Nice. Um, these vans are vault vans. Does that mean they're discontinued? Um, the general by vans. They're in the they're from the vault collection. I don't know. I think they just made a limited run cool. or something like that. It doesn't typically add a ton of value, especially since it's just a plain blue colorway. But they're only nine bucks. Um, and then these New Balance. Those are cool. Only four ninety nine. Nice. nice. So looks like we're taking two, four, six. I gotta get these last two rows. Okay, two more rows. Got to hit all these aisles. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. No, this is. What are those? Some weird Air Max 90 yeah. mesh. 90 Ultras. Yeah. Five and a half wide. Size or what's the price? Six. Six. They'd, they'd probably clean up. Yeah, I need a washing machine run. But... Yeah. So that put us in seven pairs. All right, I'm eating my words. It was a decent stop. It's the only stop of the day where we got less than ten dollars a pair. It was only fifty dollars for seven pairs of shoes. Like. I get it. But what did I say before we went in? They were like Ben's quality shoes and all of these need to go through the washing machine. All of them. We spent $50.76. Something was half off. I don't know what that was, but $50.76. Um, the, uh, you guys already saw them. These, uh, these tennis shoes, if they come clean, that's like a hundred dollars shoe. That's a good find. All right, another Play-Dohs. I feel like the battery on here is on its last leg. 
It's flying at Air Forces, 18. And they got quite a bit of heel drag. We got some really loud music once again, so uh, I'm back. I'm back. We got some Under Armour Project Rocks. Project Rocks are always really good shoes to pick up. These were only 25 bucks. Easy money. You get these for no idea. How much are they? 30. Those for 30. Um, what size are they? Sure. It's not, it's not too bad. I think we can get towards the top of the market. I got Johnson Ravine. So oh, cool. Is Built a good brand? Yeah, I sold it for like 50. Nice. Okay. Um, do you mind looking these up? I don't. Check everything out of the car. So, Clarence was only. Or sorry, clearance is 90% off, so these Genasis are only $450. Alright, so Play-Doh's actually ended up being really good. We got one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes. Spent $116.63. I think we're creeping up on our budget. Um, behind the counter, we got these uh, six rings. Hadn't hit the floor yet. They're a men's size 10. They were only 35 bucks. So that was a really good deal. These Air Max 95s were on clearance. Clearance was 90% off. Uh, so these are only $450. These were only $450. Um, I don't know about this brand built, but Chris said he sold it before for like 50 bucks. Those were only 10 bucks. Uh, we picked up these uh, Project Rocks for 20 or 25. And these uh, Vapor Max 360s. Is that what these are called? Yes. Vapor Max 360s for 30 bucks? 30, yep. $30 Roonies. So, doing pretty good. All right. Next Goodwill. We only have $126 left in the budget. Chris is getting mad because I'm holding him to a strict budget today. Um, so, if we go over, blame him, not me. I'm mad. I'm here for you people. He is, he's upset. He's very upset. These are Dansko boots. 18 bucks, 17 bucks. Shouldn't be too bad. It's Air Max 97s for 25. Uh, I'll have to check the size. No, but have you ever found Yeezys at the thrift store? Never. Oh my gosh. Zumba? You really picked up Zumba. I just want to look them up. Okay. What you got there? Bionics for 10. It's Adidas Torsions for 13. 13? Yeah. Cool Galaxy 3. Uh, uh, You're not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Um, I gotta see the size on these. I get it. Women's size 9, so these are probably a pass. I get thrown off by this brand. Whiten every single time. Dude, I think it's one of the brands that Goodwill just buys in bulk because I see them all the time. some KDs for 25 Karachis also 25 Prestos 20 Oh Danner Gore-Tex for 25 no insoles uh, men's size 8 not terrible it's, it's gotta be worth it Oh, and there's some more banners right next to them. These are 30, also Gore-Tex. Adidas Gnarly for 15. Maybe worth looking up. You don't like the Lycra, do you? I don't. I really, dude, I, I've been telling myself to not pick that brand up. They just don't sell. All right, I'm gonna go to the kids. All right, we got some <laughs> off-white wannabes for $12.99. Do we think these are worth putting in a check check? <laughs> I doubt it. The bottom just looks off and not in a good way. Not an off-white way. Yeah, that tag is terrible. I'm gonna show these to Chris though. Got some Air Force Ones, terrible heel drag. Oh, got some triple black Jordan Ones, four and a half Y. 15, also bad heel drag. Jordan 4s, 25 bucks. Nope, not in that size. I see some 11 low snake skins, also 25. Um, 5Y, it's worth looking up. I found off white Vapor Max. Is it real? <laughs> I doubt it. Look at the <laughs> look at the text on the side, and just just text. look at the tag. I, I don't think it looks good. I'll double 15, check. How much? Fifteen. Fifteen? Sure. Hey, watch out. 
How much do you guys? Ten. Ten? Sure. Sure. These are cool. Yeah, they're twenty five dollars though, I gotta look up comps. Alright. Um gotta gotta make sure all this is worth picking up. These are obviously fake, not picking these up, but I'll report back when we narrow it down. All right, so both of the Danners, unfortunately, are dry rotted. I don't know if you can tell, but like, soles are separating. You can see right there. Um, just a reminder, always been check the boots. Got excited. Two pairs of Gore-Tex Danners, but they're both dry rotted. Dude. Yeah. All right, here we are, three pairs in. Um, unfortunately, I had to put a lot of that back, but three pairs in, $44.91. We have $81 left to spend. We're getting there. We got a car full of shoes. I think we did pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy. The good thing about sourcing with Chris is he just gives me all these faces that I can just like zoom in on when I'm editing. Like that one. It's kind of, it's kind of scary. All right. What did I say we're sitting at? $80 left? I don't know. We got $80 left to spend at this bad boy right here. I hope we can do it. I hope we can do it. <sighs> we're definitely not hitting the 80 pair goal under $1,000. What do you say we're sitting at? 63. We're at 63 pairs. If we can get... 30. No. All right. <laughs> um, 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 if we can get 12 pairs of shoes here for 80 bucks, Chris wins. Chris wins. I win. Wins bragging rights for the next day. Oh, we got some Anhu sugar pines. Kind of rough. Tore up on the line. Nope. Nope. Way too much wear on the bottom of these. Oh my gosh, 25 for these. Twenty-five dollars for some nappy, nappy Crocs. I thought you said. I thought you said this is the good one. It was the one I went. All right, I'm gonna go through the kids section and then I'm gonna look these up and then we're getting out of here. Oh, some new favorite. Oh my gosh, thirty dollars. July is National Anti-Order Month. Oh, I don't. I didn't know they buy them. What's up? $40. Okay. Hi, Lee. That's a new one for me. Shout out, Chris. All right. So the uh, question mids were actually a really good find. Um, not a lot listed. I think there's like four listed, four sold. This one sold on bid for uh, 52. Um, I don't think there's a lot listed. Yeah, five listed. Brand news for a lot. Pre-owned for 100. There's pre-owned for 55, but that's GS, six and a half. That one's a size six for 40. Um, I think these are a good size. These are men's nine and a half. Um, yeah, pretty good find. And I guess the highlights are good. Good these job. are up to you. Kind of messed up with your standard six dollars. They're six dollars? Yeah. What size? Eight and a half, I think. Men's? Men's 10. Men's 10? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are six bucks. That's the only flaw. Is this right here? Yeah. Sure. These are crazy. Crazy? They're ten bucks. Okay. I'll show you. How many times are you going to tell me that indoor soccer cleats aren't good right now? So why'd this one sell new for one fifteen? I don't know. Okay, so it's at least a $50 sale? Yeah, at least, okay. yeah. What's even the size? Eight. All right, four pairs. Alrighty, five pairs at that stop. I found some uh, Sorel sandals. Uh, they're in there somewhere. Some Sorel sandals at the counter that somebody I guess didn't want. Paid forty-one dollars and fifty-seven cents, so less than ten a pair at that stop. Chris is still pulling out his keys. Is he ever going to learn that he's not driving? Uh, so we still got like forty bucks to spend. Four plus forty-one point fifty-seven equals nine sixty. So we still have. $40 to spend, and we're gonna go uh, finish up at the store that we started out with because they've probably put shoes out since then, and it's right next to the apartment, so might as well. The day is ending, and when's it started? Hold up, I had a dead battery, you gotta replace it. All right, sir, um, I passed on the ortho feet. I can tell you that right now. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, they're just 16 bucks, 18 after tax. You want the last one? Your idea of a good pickup? No, I was gonna ask you. Were they here earlier? These are 20. Oh, Ghost 14? This should be fine. I know the, the tables have turned here. Do you want to pick up these Allegrias? They're 11 bucks, but they're like brand new. Like this is the kind of Allegria that I'd probably pick up. Oh, look at that guy. All right, last stop of the day, two pairs. 
at $32.99. Um, so yeah, I think we came in, what, $10 under budget? So uh, saved a little money today. I thought we were gonna go over budget because of Mr. Grumpy Pants over here. We, well, he could have, but he wanted to cut it quits early. Mr. I have 7.30 plans. I have to be home within the hour. Like, come on now. You fabricate everything. I don't fabricate anything. This man, this man is the reason we didn't go over budget today. <laughs> single, single well, reason. Thank you, me. Anyway, ten dollars under budget. Now we just gotta draft all this stuff, and that's, that's the fun part. Let's get her done before the rain rain comes. All right. So here we are. Seventy pairs on the day. Uh, ten dollars under budget. Right around nine hundred ninety bucks. What are your thoughts? Pretty solid day. I give it one for every ten pairs, so it's a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. I like it. I was gonna go with a six. Um, what was the the average buy cost? That would be like what fourteen bucks. Yeah, about that. About fourteen dollars per pair. We got some really good stuff. Um, how do you think this compares to a twenty nineteen sourcing trip? More expensive, but the, I think we're better at sourcing. So, so the quality is way higher. If you're watching this video, don't go look at the old videos with me and Chris. So just thing. just don't just just stay off my channel pre COVID this year. Just anything before this year, don't watch. But um, we're gonna get this drafted. I have the first pick. Um, I think that the the first pick's fairly obvious. Like, there's a couple really good pairs. Those Cortezes are probably pretty good. But I'm gonna get those Nike shocks. I'm gonna take a nice little leap and grab the shocks. I'm sure Chris is gonna pick the Cortezes. 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 All right, those are, those are the first two picks. Uh, we're gonna get this uh, get this straightened out, and then we'll close out the video after that. All right, Chris is walking away with one bag, but uh, Chris Chris got uh, two solid bags of inventory. Three. Sorry, three solid bags of inventory. I got a big tub. All these need to run through the wash machine. Um, just gotta just gotta basically add the total up and have Chris pay me what he owes me. Since we're like I said, we just split the cost right down the middle, and then just drafted everything one by one. Um, previously, me and Chris did a sourcing trip where we tried to source a hundred pairs of shoes in one day. We came pretty close here, seventy pairs. Uh, but we went for the we went for the goal of 100. So if you want to watch that video, click this thumbnail right here. And with that being said, unless Chris has anything to add, I'm tired. He's tired. We'll see you guys in the next one.